2014 Coldstone U.S. Rotax Grand Nationals. Make sure I get that whole title in there. A little bit of a long title. Um, a big announcement earlier in the week. We're here with uh, Bill Wright, of, formerly of the uh, Forma Kart Productions Florida Winter Tour, and uh, Max Speed's group, Richard Boyclair. Congratulations, guys. Can, uh, obviously, I think people have read the press release. Maybe want to dive a little bit deeper into, but if you guys could just give us a little bit of a roundup of uh, what the relationship is moving forward. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about moving forward, sure. Uh, I just have to turn it over to Richard <laughs> because I can assure you that that Richard and I have talked about the future, but just a bit because uh, he has his own idea of how things are done. I, I think our discussion has been such that you don't see huge differences, but there will definitely be a, a visible difference if I can get in there. One of the things that Richard did surprise me with, and I think he surprised a lot of people in, in the industry, was that his enthusiastic support of the continuation of the Formula Kart Racing Championship. I think a lot of people thought that Max Speed Group would immediately get rid of that program, and Richard surprised me. He's very enthusiastic about the potential for that, and he wants to continue it. So. I think from my side, that was the thing that was most surprising about our discussions before we, that led up to the, the purchase itself. Yeah, um, Bill is right. I, I think we, we, you know, we do a good job with our program. We do, uh, we work extremely hard to try to provide a great racing platform for our customers. We, uh, our number one goal is distribution. That's what uh, the Max Speed Group is all about. So that means we are in the business of selling engines, parts, and tires. Um, but putting together racing platforms for our service centers and our customers to go and do what they like to do is very important. But we also believe in, in growing the sport of karting. I think uh, it's been uh, a, 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 an industry that's been hurting tremendously in the past couple of years for many reasons. Uh, I think because a lot of people are selfish, I can use that word. Uh, they don't think long term, they think short term, and we're not about that. We want to invest in the future, that's why we actually uh, went forward. Literally investing in the future, yeah. That's, that's, that's what we want to do, and, and we felt that the Formula Car Weekend was a, a good series, a great platform for all the other uh, race uh, packages to, uh, to express themselves on the track, and uh, that's why we're going to keep going. I mean, there's no reason to, to stop this great thing that was working really well and it was growing. And so we decided that, you know, it's, it's, it's important to keep those customers racing. And we're going to give it uh, the same attention that we give it to the uh, Rotex Max uh, weekend. Yeah, that's a, a great point. You know, the kind of level of production you guys provide here at this and other events that you guys put on is top level. So, of course, Florida Winter Tour has always been known for some great competition and a very high level of production and the, the team that you guys have built. Richard, moving forward, you guys talked about investing. Can you give us a little bit of tidbits of maybe what that entails? Are there some changes that you already have in mind that you'd like to see moving forward? Um, well, we, we'd like to, we, we believe in, 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 you know, the Florida Winter Tour name is, is very important. It means a lot to the community, it means a lot to us. Uh, obviously meant a lot to Bill, still means a lot to Bill. Still does. Um, we, we want to continue what was, it was what Bill has done and give it maybe a little bit of a max speed twist. Um, you know, Bill and I, uh, we, we, we do things differently because our goal was different. We, like I said, our, our, our main purpose in life is, is distribution. So uh, we're allowed to reinvesting a little bit more. Uh, we're using some of the max speed distribution money to elevate uh, or, or, or to, to put extras, if you wish. And you, everybody got a taste of that last night here at the barbecue. I think uh, we had a lot of fun. It was 400 people that came out and had a, big time, a great big time. So, uh, yes, we, we, you know, we have a great team right now. Uh, we definitely uh, will look at uh, how we can uh, merge some of the team. And um, we're, we're very enthusiastic, we're, we're, we're um, extremely excited and highly motivated most of all to, uh, to expand and make sure that uh, the name Florida Winter Tour uh, is there for a long time again. Perfect, and this has kind of been talked about in the paddock for a little bit of time now, but has there been any thought about maybe moving the Florida Winter Tour into like a southeastern tour where you visit more tracks just outside of Florida? Or uh, we're going to keep it mainly in Florida? No, no, it's called the Florida Winter Tour, and I think it needs to stay the Florida Winter Tour. 
Um, I think it's, it's a great destination for the first quarter of the year. Uh, it doesn't mean I don't have other plans to expand and move up north. And uh, we, are, um, we are very close to making other announcements. So we're, we're, like I said, we're investing quite a bit to grow markets to, and I think our service center needs those platforms to survive. These people are, they need to put food on the table. And what Bill has done for the past 16 years has been an incredible platform for them to make, uh, to make a little bit of money. And we just want to make sure that we fill the void in the market. And this is coming from them, not from us. Uh, customers tell us that they want to go racing. There's, there's a couple of months that are not much is happening, and they're, they're looking for us to put something together. Perfect. And then for the Formula Kart weekend, obviously, I mean, it's got to be said that there is maybe slightly of a, not conflict of interest, but with Vortex kind of being the, the mini rock class being one of the largest categories, has there been communication between uh, Vortex and you guys have yet to kind of work out a relationship to continue one of the strongest categories in the Formula Kart uh, weekend? No, we, 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 I've spoken to uh, Eric Jones. I have not spoken to the Vortex people. Um, you know, best example is that uh, Eric Jones is here this weekend. He's here with a lot of customers. He believe, he, he, we think the same way, Eric and I. Uh, there's, room, there's enough room for all of us to make a living. And uh, right now, I'm, I'm, this is my first step. We'll see what the next steps are. Well, it's great to hear that attitude. I think that's one of the best things about this industry and, and, and people like you that understand that competition is great. It helps the industry grow. It helps the industry eat, you know, put food on the table because uh, if it becomes a monopoly, then the industry really will suffer quite a bit. So it's great to hear that you have that same philosophy that a lot of people in karting believe in. Um, Bill, moving forward uh, past this, I hear you're going over to Europe a little bit. Would you like to tell everyone a little bit about that maybe? Well, not too many people know that Carl and I travel extensively in the off season. Everybody thinks the Florida Winter Tour is why I works three months out of the year. What a dream job. The reality is, especially in the current environment in the, in the karting industry, you really have to pay attention to what's happening. I mean, there's some big changes coming at the CIK. So long story short, we go to Europe every year and have for many, many years. We go to major uh, you know, CIK events, including Supercarts events. I've been privileged three times now to announce the British Supercart Grand Prix. We'll be doing that again in a couple of weeks. <clears throat> we'll immediately go to the PFI International Series uh, racetrack uh, in the UK for to watch the uh, European rounds for KF and KF Junior. And we do that every year. We travel to Europe every year, go to some major events. We do that to keep up on the latest technology changes. For instance, right now, I'm very interested to see some more information about what Super One is doing in the UK with the standing start situation for single speed carts. Uh, it's a very unique look at how things are going. So, you know, I'm going to continue to be involved in carting. I love it. I'm very passionate about it. The only reason I'm moving on beyond this is I thought it was the perfect time. Richard and them were in a position where they really wanted to take a bigger and, and more uh, a defining uh, position within the community and I was really looking to kind of get out of the day-to-day -day detail of running things I want to be a much a big picture guy kind of now and so I'm not going to be gone from the, the carding community at all I'm going to be uh, you know, around but for the foreseeable future I'm going to be there simply just to observe to enjoy what I consider to be the finest uh, form of motorsports in the world that's kart racing and, uh, and just enjoy it without the pressure of the Florida Winter Tour. Not too many people understand how much pressure there was for me because I was so focused on being you know, a top level series that I was constantly watching the trends and making sure we were on top of all that. It was a full time job. Perfect. Well, thank you for the time, guys. Best of luck in the future. I know that this relation, or not really relationship, but this move is definitely going to help continue the growth of the Florida Winter Tour and we're going to see big things ahead. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.